Okay, test three, number five. Let's do this one. Somebody asked about part C, but let's just do all of it. Uh, so is all polynomials of degree three or less with non-negative coefficients? That means anything like zero or positive. So does S have an object that behaves like zero? Yes. It's the function f of x equals zero. Or if you really want to be formal, you could say f of x equals 0x to the third plus 0x squared plus 0x plus 0. Same thing. If we add this function to any other function, the other one stays the same. So this is it. And, oh, by the way, how do I know this is an S? Because notice these coefficients are not negative. All non-negative. So f of x is in S. That's important to say. Okay, what about B? Does S satisfy the <coughs> gender addition? Well, in other words, I'm wondering if F of X is in S and G of X is in S, is F plus G of X in S? Okay, if you take any two things that look like this and add them together, I'm oh, sorry, not like that, that's two things. If you were to add these two things together, I think you would agree with me. Uh, you would have something like ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d would get added to maybe, um, I don't know, uh, alpha x cubed plus beta x squared plus gamma x plus delta. If you add those together, you get a plus alpha x cubed, and b plus beta x squared, etc. And the issue is, how do we know this is an s? Well, because a plus alpha must be non-negative since a and alpha are both non-negative. If you add two things that aren't negative together, you get another thing that's non-negative. Same thing for these, these, and these. So yes, it's in S. Proving S is closed under addition, yes. Okay. That's the argument. Okay. All right, this is the one people got stuck on. Is it closed under scalar multiplication? Is k times f of x always in s for any k? Here's the trick, okay? So, for any k, well, no. If k is negative, like negative one or negative two, then you know, such as uh, like k equals negative one, negative one times a function like this, ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d would equal negative a x cubed plus negative b x squared, etc. And this is not this is negative since a is not negative since a is positive. Negative a is negative. Since it has a negative coefficient, it's not in S. Because S only has things with positive or zero coefficients. So it fails that axiom. That's why it's no, because K might be negative. It would have to be always be in a positive, no matter what K you chose. So therefore, since it failed one of the axioms, it would have to be all three yeses to say yes here. If it fails any axiom, it's no, since C was no. That's it.